What's up everybody? So in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create proxies in the Blackmagic proxy generator. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to open the Blackmagic proxy generator. And uh, this generator comes with the free version of DaVinci and with the paid studio version of DaVinci. So the first thing what you see when you open this generator is you can choose between three different proxies. So what is a proxy? So a proxy basically means that we want to downscale our footage to a lower resolution. In my case, I shot my videos on 4K, 50 frames per second and 10 bit colors. So you want to keep in mind and remember how much your resolution is and how much bitrate you shot your footage. Because you can choose out of H.264 8-bit half of the resolution and if you shot your footage already in 8-bit uh, 1080p and you still want to create proxies, I would choose the first one because that's half resolution. Uh, in my case, I shot my footage on 4K 50 frames per second 10-bit. So I want to downscale it to H.264 8-bit 1080p. In my case, that works for me the best. Uh, and you can also choose between H.265 10-bit 1080p footage. All right, so I choose the middle one. So now you're gonna add the folder that you put all your video clips in. So add your folder, go to your location. In my case, I added all the video clips in day one. So I'm gonna hit day one, select the folder. And here, the software already added automatically the folder. So the great thing is that once you're going to start creating these proxies, DaVinci automatically going to put a folder here next to your original clips and it's automatically going to name it proxy and all the proxy files automatically go in that folder. So that's really great. So let's start day one folder, start. Alright, there you see the folder and now let's work with the proxies in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we are still in this folder right up here. We go back and we just gonna import day one folder into our master. And there you see that he that DaVinci Resolve didn't import the proxy folder because he does everything automatically. So when you gonna activate this function up here. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna click on playback and there you see proxy handling and there if you hit prefer proxy, DaVinci automatically is gonna search in your proxy folders next to your original clips and he's gonna grab these proxy clips, boom. So you don't see anything, he does everything under the radar for you, it's super great. So now you work in your proxy files. So let's import this and if you even want to work in a lower resolution you can do that by hitting playback. You can set your timeline proxy resolution to the full resolution, to a half resolution or to even a quarter of a resolution. I always leave this on full. So remember that I told you in the beginning that you need to remember the bitrate that you shot your footage because I shot it on 10 bit. And now I want to color grade this footage, but it's still in the proxy mode. So when I'm gonna color grade this, I color grade this in 8-bit. And I don't want that because I want to see the original file. So you click playback, you're gonna use your proxy handling, and there I want to just use my original files. When you export your footage, DaVinci Resolve automatically will recognize and export always the original footage. But in my case, just to be sure, just for my own feelings, I always hit playback, proxy handling, prefer camera originals. So just to be sure that I am going to export my original files. Hopefully you learned something today. If you did, give me a thumb up, write something in the comments, and I'm going to check you out in the next video.